Ooh. Mmm. So I'm currently in that same position where like I want to lick it to find out, but I, I also I also really don't. I understand exactly why it's called Turkish Delight because that shit is delightful. They tape this so freaking well, I guess it's a good thing I took uh, the thumbnail before hitting, uh, starting the actual video itself. Um, but anyways, hi, hello there, um, welcome to today's video, my name is Courtney, and this is, um, I actually, this has kind of turned into a series of sorts. Um, so if you are unfamiliar, if this is your first one, um, first off, hello, welcome, um, if not, thanks for coming back. But okay, so basically to give you a quick rundown synopsis of what's going on here, um, Universal Yums, uh, this is not sponsored, anything of the sort, I wish that'd be pretty cool. Um, but anyways, they do a monthly subscription box and every month they travel to a different country. And I just love it because the company itself very clearly puts a lot of time and effort into making each of these boxes super cool and filled with a lot of really cool stuff. Um, so there's three different tiers for the boxes, like a small, medium, large, I have the medium. Um, and so one of my favorite things to do with these is to go in blind. So um, you obviously know what country I'm about to taste test from, but I currently do not know and I have done this for at least, I think three of the four that I've done now. So this is the fifth um, so far. I have done Italy, Spain, South Korea, and Turkey, and today we are doing, I mean, I guess we might as well find out. So we are going to Greece. Okay, very cool. So when it comes to these videos, um, I what I like to do is just kind of like show a little bit of what's in the box when it comes to like the extras, like stuff like this. Um, but for the main part, I am showing what is in the box and I am going to taste test things that seem the most interesting. So it may potentially be every single thing in the box. It may only be a few things in the box that has never happened. Um, but yeah, so anyways, let's, let's, just, let's just jump on in. So there are 10 things in this box. Um, I love there's like this cute little card, it shows the country itself, some interesting points in the country, and then the back has um, all of the different snacks and a place to list your thoughts on them, um, tells you where you can buy more of them, all kinds of interesting stuff. So the next thing, they always send some sort of like quirky sticker. Honestly, I really should have collected these and not been throwing them away. Okay, so then there's the little booklet and this this is why I say they just put so much time and effort into this because they have, you know, the map, the thing in the back for you to fill out, a sticker, and then this entire booklet that has, it says off we go to Greece and then it tells you explore Greece and Greece in 60 seconds. Um, there's usually a recipe, was that a recipe? Yeah, there's a recipe, there's some trivia. Um, and then you get to the main portion of the book where it tells you, it gives you a synopsis, a little breakdown of each of the items in the box. So um, what I do is, and what I'm going to do in today's video, is I will pull an item out of the box, I will find this little paragraph, read it. If there's anything worth letting you know, I'll relay the information. Um, if not, I will either decide to taste test, not taste test. I just saw that there's baklava in here and I am so excited. So I will read this um, on my own time when it comes to the other stuff in the book, but let's get to what we're all really here for, which is the taste testing. Um, and what I did last time, and I think I'm going to do again because I like how it worked out, was I ate, or I tasted all of the savory things in the box and then I went to the sweet things in the box and I think that's what I'm going to do again. Um, I. I'm a very, I like to save the best for last kind of person, and I also have a massive sweet tooth, so there you go. All right, let's jump 
into it. All right, I don't know if it's toadies or toddies, waves, tomato, and paprika. These are chips. All right. They're quite light and thin, and the flavor is phenomenal. Okay, um, yeah, those are really good, and there's a high chance they're going to be the snack that I eat directly after I finish filming this. Um, but yeah, with that being said, moving on. So these are actually from the same brand, and they are bread chips, and they're garlic flavored, and I love anything garlic. I was reading that. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to read you this one because it's interesting. You probably know that garlic is good for your body, but did you know it's good for your soul too? Let us explain. In Greece, there's a widespread belief that bad luck can be caused simply by receiving a malicious glare. Locals aptly call this phenomenon evil eye or mati. How do they protect themselves? With a special evil eye neutralizing amulet or garlic. <laughs> Folks keep garlic cloves in their pockets or handbags and hang them above entryways in their homes and businesses. We prefer a slightly tastier tactic, munching on these crunchy, extra crunchy bread chips coated in pungent garlic seasoning. All right, let's try. These remind me of the um, garlic bread chips, cracker chips, I don't know exactly what they're called, that we have here in the States. Um, I'm currently blanking on the brand, but I will try to find it and throw up an image. These are very much reminding me of those, but slightly less crunchy, which I personally like. I think there's a lot of people who prefer them crunchier. I like that they're slightly softer and a bit more dense, but they have a lot of good garlic flavor, which, you know, who can complain about that? I'm probably going to be dipping these in hummus at some point. That's for sure. I think I somehow got lucky. Not lucky, but just like, I'm pretty sure everything else in this box is sweet, and I'm very excited about that. So I don't know if this next thing is necessarily supposed to be sweet or savory, but it's called, they're corn puffs, and they're peanut and hazelnut, so they're actually probably, I, I, we're going to find out. Um, but either way, they're from this same brand, and yeah, they're just corn puff, peanut, corn puffs, peanut, and hazelnut. They smell, they, the smell reminds me of being at the baseball stadium. Like peanuts, but also sweetness. Okay, so I was watching something, I think it was on Instagram the other day, and there were two people debating whether or not peanut butter was savory or sweet. And when I read it, I immediate, my immediate reaction was, well, sweet, of course. I would never put peanut butter with something savory although now that i'm really sitting here thinking about it there are things like pad thai which is a peanut based sauce and stuff like that and so i guess that's savory but i don't know why for some reason i was very adamant that peanut butter and peanuts in themselves would be categorized as more on the sweet side because of the sweetness that they leave on your tongue but after eating this i'm now i am now understanding why the other person argued savory and i'm also now feeling like it could be both like i feel that in the context it, it has to be in the context of what it's with like i feel if you eat peanut butter by itself it's kind of sweet but you can put it with savory things and it works and i haven't even yet begun to describe these things <laughs> these are so interesting i'm sorry i just went off on a total peanut butter tangent but i want to know your thoughts that was what i was rounding out to because please let me know savory sweet both depending on what it's with because if you put it with chocolate clearly sweet but you could also like i said put it in pad thai what other non what other savory things can you put what do you put peanuts in um but anyways with that being said these are super weird and interesting so they're they're puffs the flavor does not hit you it doesn't like smack you when you first eat it but as you continue chewing it all of a sudden you taste peanuts i don't know this is very strange i taste peanuts way more than i taste hazelnut that's for sure i don't think these are something i would ever just like sit there and snack on oh i want one this looks like it has like stuff on it they're not my favorite thing i've ever ate but they're not the worst thing i've ever ate 
I don't know. Let's just keep going. Okay. So this looks really interesting. Grape must soft cookie naturally and artificially flavored. Oh, cool. Okay. So must is a thick mixture made up of the freshly pressed juice, skins, seeds, and stems of a grape. So we're going to have a grape must cookie. Okay, so upon smelling that, I wasn't sure I was going to like this, but after tasting it, I do. It reminds me of almost like a pumpkin spice muffin of sorts. Like it's a very dense kind of thing, but minus the pumpkin. So the spices that you get along with pumpkin when you have something that's pumpkin spice, so like the clove, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, that kind of stuff, I don't... I guess maybe I do get a little grape flavor, but not in a way where I feel like I taste grapes or that this is overly sweet or extra sweet. I personally think this would be really good if you made like that powder sugar icing where you take powdered sugar and a little bit of water and then you dipped this in that. I think that would take this to a whole nother level. <laughs> All right, so this next thing just looks real freaking interesting. Greek traditional handmade prickly pear delight. Oh, cool. Okay, so it says, we know what you're thinking. Why is there Turkish delight in the grease box? Well, both countries were once part of the Ottoman Empire, so they have a lot of cuisine in common. Very cool. I've always wanted to try Turkish delight. So if this is going to be similar, I'm very excited to try this. Um, and I'm, I'm sure many of us have it in common that it was um, the Chronicles of Narnia that <laughs> made us want to try Turkish Delight. Yes? No? Okay, so I'm really hoping somebody who um, has ever either tried this before or is maybe potentially from either Turkey or Greece can tell me, is this what it's supposed to look like? Hold, please. Um, is it supposed to look like that? Like, the, the image on the box shows these nice little cubes. <laughs> that is not what that is. Okay, either way. Is it, could it potentially have like melted at some point? Is that a thing? Oh, oh dear lord. This was, this was, hmm. mistakes are being made. It's a mess, it's a mess. Okay, so in my, I did, a, I did a mochi taste testing video a few months ago and a coating the mochi, I was like, oh, is this powdered sugar? And then I tasted it and I was like, no, it's not. Um, fairly certain it's cornstarch or something of the sort. And so I'm currently in that same position where like I want to lick it to find out, but I, I, also, I also really don't. <laughs> but I'm kind of scared. What is it supposed to look like? Do I grab one that doesn't have a lot of stuff on it? Is the stuff good? Is it, what is it? It doesn't smell sweet. Do I lick it? It is sugar. Okay, okay, we're cool. It's sugar, we're good. All right. That is one of the most delightful things I have every I said it and and then I realized and I was like no I can't I can't I can't because I I didn't even mean to make the joke like I was just genuinely saying that okay but no for real Turkish delight is, is delightful I I understand why they call it that it I don't even really know how to quite explain. So on the inside, it is, if you were to have like a, a gummy jelly of sorts, but it's so soft that you can mush it with your tongue and it's very light in flavor. There's just a very tiny hint of 
what I would imagine um, prickly pear tastes like. I've never had it before, but um, that's what I imagine that that taste is. And there's just a hint of, you know, that fruity flavor. And then it's coated in a very fine sugar, almost like powdered sugar, but a little bit more dense um, that adds the sweetness to it. And so the two textures together are just so nice. And after eating one piece, I feel like I could eat a couple more pieces. It would satiate my sweet my sweet tooth and the sweetness, but not it. But it's not too sweet. I understand exactly why it's called Turkish delight because that shit is delightful. All right, on that positive note, let's go to these almond shortbreads. Mmm, Greece's famously cozy Christmas time treat. Okay, so this says if you receive the turkey box in May, then you might think you're seeing double, but there's a subtle difference between the Turkish version and these um, almond biscuits. So I did receive that box, um, and if I remember correctly, if it's the almond cookies I'm thinking of, they were real good. If not, then I don't remember. Ooh, okay, they're much larger than I was expecting. There's only four in here. Everything's messy. All right, Jesus, okay. Ooh. Mmm. I know it sounds really weird, but I really like the texture of this box. It's It feels like a very expensive box. I know it sounds weird, but and I, I do marketing for a living. This is a, this is not what I do for a living. If you, if anyone was ever wondering, that'd be really freaking cool. Um, but my my job, my real job, is social media and marketing, and so this stuff kind of excites me. But anyways, um, okay. So these things, this is delicious, absolutely delicious. There is, it's very sweet. There's a lot of flavor. The texture is really nice. It's very crumbly. Um, there's a lot of powdered sugar on the outside. Um, that clearly. I'm sure I feel like it's everywhere um but I also understand why there's only four in here they're so sweet that I would only want one of these um uh, I also wouldn't even mind necessarily sharing it with somebody because they are that sweet that I ate a bite of that and I was like ooh, I'm not taking another bite of that because I still need to eat a multitude of other things in this box um but yeah they're really good so uh with that being said I'm gonna move on this is hands down the messiest of all of the country videos that I have done. All right, so next up, this is a drizzled milk chocolate wafer, Greece's version of a, and this is their quotations, not mine, better Kit Kat. Um, so clearly if they're gonna try to make that claim, we have to see if this is better than a Kit Kat, which I don't, I don't, I don't know how you do that, but anyways. Oh, well shit. Obsessed with wafers? Get excited. Greece is where wafers were invented. Back in 146 BC, Athenians cooked them by pouring batter between two hot plates like an ancient waffle iron and topped the finished wafer wafers with herbs and cheese. All right, so they, 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 they deserve some credit there. And let's see how they do. All right, first off, I already like its size better than a Kit Kat. Okay, after trying this, first off, absolutely delicious, easy, easy, delicious. I do think though that saying that it's better than a Kit Kat is almost an unfair comparison um, because a Kit Kat, they're, the typical Kit, Kit Kats are quite small. If you were to compare this to like the mega Kit Kats, the really big ones, I personally would take the big Kit Kat over this. Um, but if you're comparing a normal size Kit Kat, well, yeah, this is, I mean, it's much larger. There's much more to it. There, you have much more of a mouthfeel because you have, there's just more to it. So with that being said, I think it's almost slightly an unfair comparison. Um, I think they're both delicious in their own <laughs> regard. Plus Kit Kat is really freaking good at coming up with unique and fun Kit Kat flavors, i.e. see any video Right, taste test Kit Kats. Ooh, which speaking of, sorry to get off track a little bit, but coming up, I will be taste testing Fruity Pebble Kit Kats. I'm very excited. 
<clears throat> All right, so they do this thing in their boxes called a yum bag where it's just like smaller items. Like I'm guessing you just get like a big bulk bag of different candies and put some of them into this smaller bag instead of giving like a whole bag of the candies, if that makes sense, because they're typically like chocolates or... So like in this one, we've got two different things. One says, ooh... An almond flavored toffee and a pomegranate jelly candy. All right, we're gonna start with the pomegranate jelly candy because it's right here in front of me. Um, tart and sweet and exceptionally chewy. All right, there is a cute little story to it, but this video is gonna be an hour long if I sit here and read them all. So, here's a little jelly candy. I realized I didn't actually show a close up, so here's the packaging. That is absolutely delicious. It is super soft. It reminds me texture-wise um, of the fruit slice candies, the fruit slice gummies. I'll throw up a picture. Um, super good flavor, lots of flavor, covered in a nice thin layer of sugar. Those, these things are delicious. I, I don't know if this company makes other flavors, but if they, if they do, I want to try every single flavor they make because this is so good. And on to the next item. Hmm. Um, so this one just basically says that almonds are a very large part of local culture in Greece. So I would really love if somebody, anybody would watch these taste testings from the country that they are about and help confirm whether or not any of these things that I taste test are actually like big snacks or things. Like I think it would be so funny if that one brand, this brand that I started with, the that one there and um, there were three different items from that brand in this box I think it would be so funny if somebody watched this video who is from Greece lives in Greece and was like I've never even heard of that brand here um, I I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's probably not the case I, I don't I just don't get that vibe I think they put a lot of time and effort into this but I do think it would be really interesting to find out if it's like oh yeah those are 100 percent staples like we eat this all the time we eat this all the time so for example when this says um almonds are it's just something that they have a lot of if greeks aren't it says there's a reason ancient romans um called almonds uh greek nuts if greeks aren't plucking almonds straight from the trees a snack they're savoring them at any other meal of the day so is that true is our almonds really that abundantly abundantly eaten in greece i'm curious but either way, oh, all right, this is a soft toffee. I thought it was going to be hard. Okay, so I just read the paragraph for the final item in this box, and I very intentionally and purposefully saved the almond baklava for last. Um, so just to give, I'm not going to read the whole thing because this is the longest paragraph in here, but I will give a couple quick little tidbits. So first off, when exploring Greece, there are a few things you must do. See the Parthenon, soak up the sun on a white sand beach, and try baklava. Sorry, we don't make the rules, we just happily abide by them. But this says, but to kick off our Greek adventure, because this is technically the first thing in the book, um, last for me because I saved the best for last and they considered the best, so I guess that's probably a good thing anyways. Um, but it says, we brought you the one and only original flaky zever and filled with honeyed almonds. Um, it says be sure to savor it, so I will try my best. The messiest box continues. This entire little thing is sticky as hell. The layers are separating. All my fingers are taking the worst end of this. Oh, I'm covered in shit. <laughs> oh my god, but it smells amazing. Okay, so it is... <clears throat> absolutely delicious I was not doubting that it would be um however sadly because it is like a packaged product and it sits there and it soaks up a lot of the moisture from I'm assuming the honey um the flaky layers of the phyllo dough which is what's used to make baklava the type of dough used it's a super thin um dough that a super thinly layered dough and it 
just loses its crunchiness. So with that being said, I am sticky as hell from that last item still, and I would like to go clean that off. Um, I'm, I guess that was a really good thing I saved that for last because I am now completely sticky and cannot go any further. But yeah, so I would love to know your thoughts. What from this video did you find the most interesting? Have you ever tried any of this stuff? Um, would you try any of this stuff? What would you be most interested to try? What are your thoughts on the whole Turkish Greek delight thing? Because I, I felt like I learned something new today. I really need to go wash my hands. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Girl,